Welcome back, my Aries. My name is Psychic Gigi. We're going to be doing your April 2020 monthly love reading. Aries, happy birthday to all of you. Welcome. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, thank you so much for, all, for everybody who's kind of been stepping it up and supporting my channel. I feel so blessed. And um, gosh, I'm just... Uh, just really receiving the love and, um, yeah, so thankful. Aries, gosh, the first thing I got with you guys is just happy-go-lucky. I feel like some of you are just doing the me. This is a me year for my Aries. Um, it's about balance, too. You guys are balancing your career, your finances. Okay. All right, Aries, let's go ahead and jump right into your reading. Um, again, remember, this is a general reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this does not resonate with you, please take what you want and leave what does not resonate with you. Remember, these are just general readings. Um, and, you know, we got to kind of take things like simple, life on life's terms, right? Kind of rest your mind, calm your heart, free your soul. That's my... Um, I say that every day. Okay, Aries, let's go ahead and jump right into your reading. I feel like for some of you, you're just like, yeah, you guys are in your little happy-go-lucky month. I mean, some of you might be worrying about finances or there's a situation from your past that you're, uh, there's, I, I did see this for you guys, Aries. There's somebody from your past. I feel like they screwed up <laughs> um, because they moved on without you or they just kind of pulled their energy away. And... This month, Aries, for my singles, okay? So let's just start with the singles. Um, because we have the Ten of Wands. There was somebody that you were involved with. Um, and there's conflicts with this person. Like, you can, you guys, like, just couldn't, like, you couldn't see something about this person. And I feel like you see this person now um, for what they really are. Um... But either way, it doesn't matter. Like, I feel like you're going to be okay. You're very resourceful on how to deal with um, certain situations. I know that, like, some of you are losing a little bit of sleep over this because you know that the situation's just, it's, like, done. It's, it's over with. There's still something in your path that's kind of lingering. But you're moving forward. You're, you're manifesting your wishes, your dreams. I mean, you you know, this is this is you. You're like, no, I'm, I'm done. I, I have to kind of close this out. But this energy is still here. So let's go ahead and see what your other person's thinking. Um, I need to get some clarification on this cheery. Because I feel like for some of you, they've been in contact with you. Yeah, they miss you. They want control. They know what, they know that they're mistakes. I feel like maybe some of them was, they had hidden secrets or, um, you know, I mean, we have the double card here. So this is about addictions, guys. You could be dealing with a Capricorn Aries where they're just, they can't see things or they couldn't see things. So like, I feel like there's somebody from their past, from your past, they have regrets. And a lot of it has to like, they want to kiss and make up, but they can't just do that. They really have to like work hard for your attention because you're at this point, you're the 10 of swords right here, guys. You guys are like, no, this didn't work before. It gave me so much anxiety. I really just want to go ahead and move forward. Let's see what your person's going to do. I'll get some clarification on this Knight of Wands because I feel like you could be dealing with somebody a little bit uh, younger. I they they are materialistic. I am getting that for some of you. You're gonna feel like this person's a little bit um, materialistic, but they they didn't really see the connection that you had. The moon reverse, like they blocked you from coming towards them because they didn't want to put the work and the effort into. I don't think this is you, Aries. I feel like you guys are um, you do you're very logical and practical when you take an approach. You. you Definitely step back from a situation. So I feel like for some of you, I mean, you could be dealing with, I got, okay, let's see what we got. Some of you could be dealing with another Libra, uh, another, I'm sorry, Aries. <laughs> could be dealing with a Libra too, because that came out. So let's not dismiss that. But I feel like this person is not in their own um, inner strength and they blocked. And now they want to come towards you with the nine of wands because they realize like this person from your past, they have regrets. And they're, it's like they're, they're trying to make an effort towards you. And I feel like for you, you're a little bit defensive with this person. Like, you know, you, 
you know this didn't work out and you know that you want that closure and you're looking to get that closure because it caused you like a lot of like, you know, they were breadcrumbing you and you were like, no, I don't want to do these repeated patterns anymore. I'm done. Like, you know, this nine, 10, like, you know, as we start to elevate 10, it's like, it's over for you, for some of you. Aries, I feel like this situation is going to be over. Let's go ahead and get some clarification on this magician. Yeah, I feel like you haven't been in contact. And, you know, they're seeing you. There you are. They are seeing you living your happy life. Like, you're the happy-go-lucky person. For some of you, I feel like, you know, you're focused on your career, your finances. You're doing very well. While this person was... I don't even know what this was. I feel like they hurt you really bad. They had deception. There could have been... A, they could have involved you in a third-party situation. Um, they didn't... They, whatever they did, they didn't leave for... But they're not coming back to you. It's like the death reverse, you know? Even if they do come back to, re to you, Aries, and you know this because you, you already know. It's like this person's not going to change. They don't have, you know, they don't have their cups. They, they're unhappy and they're coming back to you because now they realize that they know that they have to let this guard down, tell their truth, and come towards you because you guys are focusing on your career, your finances. Some of you, I'm getting... Um, like you're working on your body, your necks, like you could be getting like some neck massages. Um, definitely your finances are okay. Like you're a happy-go-lucky person. Your communication's good. I feel like some of you are really, really happy with your money. Um, for some of my areas, I feel like maybe you're going to be treating yourself to a birthday massage or pampering your body. But I get you guys are really working on your, your not just your outer beauty because you're just in that happy-go-lucky fun type of energy. Um, but also, you're working on your finances, or you have been. Like, when this person was not around, let's clarify this nine of swords. Yeah, when they weren't around, you had no choice. You had to shut, you know, you knew you weren't seeing eye to eye. At, at, at one point, you had to shut your emotions and feelings down, and then you just became in charge. Like, you became the queen of wands, and now you're the empress. Again, it's not gender specific, guys, but... For some of you, I feel like, and also for some of you who are like in a relationship that maybe your person really wasn't um, really putting the effort in, but the, there's stability there. I do see if you're in a relationship, there is stability. Show me. Tell me. Yeah. They're maybe not, maybe they're not very um, supportive. They could be a little bit back and forth. Um, for those of you who are in a in committed relationship, it's like you're coming out of that period of where, you know, maybe money wasn't great, but now it's getting better because you're focusing on your money, your career. Um, you're trying to get that, that stability, but I feel like if you guys are married in a relationship, you're doing this together. I, I don't feel like you're doing this alone. I, I do feel like that love that you have with this person that you're with, it's going to be a pretty good month. And you, you're also going to get some good communication this month. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and, um, let's just go ahead and see what their, see what their emotions are. I know where you guys are at Aries. You guys are just happy living your life. Yeah. They feel guilty of how they treated you, how they breadcrumbed you. So now they're like seeing it, guys. They're watching you accomplish everything and mastering everything. Like this is you, this is them. They know, and you know, whatever they went after, when you were sitting here in your little misery of anxiety or maybe not sleeping at night or having to like just focus on just your money, your career and your finances, they're like, whatever they went for, it's just, it didn't, it didn't work out for them. It's, they're not satisfied. It's unfulfilling for them. Let's go ahead and see what my Aries is feeling. Yeah, you guys, this is you. Here you are, empowered. You're unsure. I feel like for some of you, you might entertain this little connection right here for some of you. But I don't feel like you're going to, like, um, entertain this for long. Because you guys, I want you to know, too, like, this eclipse is going to bring, like, um, you got to preserve your energy, guys. Yeah, you feel like the situation is hopeless. And you're empowered. You, you know, this is you. Living like the Empress. Taking care of yourself. Some of you could be spending more time in nature. But you're holding and you're not selling for less because you want this. You want this, this, everything that you've been creating. You don't want any more of this. You're done with those obstacles. Um, yeah, you don't, you don't want any more of that. Let's see what's, uh. The end result of the situation, Let's see what their feelings are. How are they going to feel when you reject them? I'm going to do that. Yeah, they're shy. They know. I feel like for some of them, like they know that they're 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 a little bit cautious to come towards you because they don't know what to do. They know you're disgusted, but they are in a desperate situation. So I feel like for some of my ears, like you might have to like listen to this person, just kind of clear your energy or just clear that past energy out so you can move forward, um, just so you're not holding yourself back, um, Aries. 
But I, I do see for some of you, okay, so let's go ahead and um, sum this up. Communication and learning, really good. You're, you guys are sitting in your power. Everything you're doing is really, really well this month. A lot of you are going to be pampering yourself. Some of you can be going to the spa, definitely getting your nails done for some of you. Um, if you're a guy, maybe you're a guy going to get a, um, a massage. But you're manifesting your wishes, your dreams. You have something new coming in. Um, there is new love. And you know that this is coming. And you're happy. But you're not ready to rush anything. I feel like if you're single right now, Aries, you're going to entertain love. You're open. You have an open mind and open heart. But you're not moving anything too fast. I feel like this eclipse is going to be draining towards you. This comes towards like the end of the month, by the way, guys, for you. Um, but overall, you have like this happy-go-lucky month. Like another prosperous month. You guys are, you're killing it. Um... Like Aries, like just enjoy because there are just like so many wonderful things like kind of happening around you and whatever this temporary stress is with this person from your past, I feel like it's going to move past. Um, you'll just kind of like move in through it, move through it very quickly um, because you have like a lot of energy. Some of you are like planning, I'm moving. I do get like, um, like it's moving, but I feel like it's like more of a moving forward. Um, if you aren't physically moving, um, you're moving forward. Um, even if your past is still like lingering around because your energy this year is like really, really strong. So, you know, like wait until your birthday. Okay, guys, I, I do want to stress that because that is like your new birthday. You're on, by the way, happy birthday to all my Aries. Um, and then I feel like for some of you, you're going to be la launching into some projects. Let me see what their hidden feelings and emotions are. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Just so you guys know. Yeah, they replay the conversation over and over in their head. They do want to. That's, we know that already. And they feel, they're very confident that they can convince you guys. that. And for some of you, might even entertain this. Like, we could be together again. Let's see what your hidden feelings and emotions is towards this person from your past. Yeah, I feel like for some of you, you because you're living in your abundance and you're really, like, happy-go-lucky. You're just like, I wish I could tell you the good things, the, the good news that you have. That... Like how things have changed around you. Um, I feel like for some of you, maybe you towards the end, you kind of just like went into like a, you hid yourself. You really didn't show them like who you want. And you, you, you didn't let this person maybe get, or you're not, you're not allowing, like I couldn't let you get too close to me. So you're definitely not allowing them to come too close to you I, for some of you. It's not going to resonate with everybody. Again, take what you want and leave what you don't need. Um, but for some of you, you, you wish that they, they could, um, like, you know, your part in this too. Um, Aries, and I feel like if you have to, you know, but your communication is really good. So, and your money's good this month. Um, you just have to kind of clean this up and you know, this Aries for some of you, you know, you're cleaning this up, um, just so you can make some more, um, like good energetic space in your life. Um, I feel like some of you are spicing your life up this month. Um, and things are really going to be like, this is a good month for you guys. Aries. I get that. Like I get new moon. There could be some conflicts if you do have conflicts, but I feel like it's okay. It goes to you, like you just move through it really quick, Aries. Um, let's go ahead and see. I'm going to do a clarification with, uh, we'll do the romance oracle angel. Just on this new, if you, for those that you have new love coming in. Oh yeah, that person from your past is... Um, <laughs> I feel like there's somebody from the past that they really didn't show their true self and they do want to come forward. For some of my areas, you might even be thinking about like, you know, wanting or desiring a relationship to move into a longer commitment. Like you're looking for engagement. You're not, you're not playing around, you know? I'm kind of clarifying. But you have to free yourself in order to get this. You got to free yourself from this deception from the past in order to move forward to get exactly separation. In order to move forward to this engagement or to a longer, stronger commitment. And they're saying for some of you, like, let your friends help. Go to your friends right now. I mean, it's your birthday month, guys. So um, for some of you, you know, I do feel like, I mean, maybe this engagement card's coming up because somebody from your past, like, you guys do reconcile. You do get past it. So have an open mind, um, an open heart. You guys are pretty much, like, I get the, you know, me, me, me. Like, be in your own, like, be your own hero. Because this is what you have to do. This is what Spirit's saying, guys. This month, just be your own hero. Keep yourself happy. Keep working on you. And you guys have some really, like, good things that are happening around you. So some of you might feel a little bit defensive, especially when this other person comes around. And that's, you know, that's normal because they walked away from you. So you're like, no, you're not going to breadcrumb me anymore. I'm not doing You guys are not going to do this. So they better come with 
a little bit more than this. I have to be honest with you. This page of cups is still like, you could be dealing with somebody who's like very immature. Um, so, okay, Aries, I'm going to go ahead and um, stop right here. Again, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for supporting my channel, guys. Um, and we just have to keep kind of mo moving forward. I feel like you guys are going to have a great month. And definitely for those that are like enjoying their... This is it. This is you guys. I think this is going to be your theme. It's like you're just making, you're making magic. Like really, you're making things happen. I mean, it, and it's not even, it's like, it's almost like it's just so easy for you guys that you have all this other energy kind of going around you. And um, yeah, you're not, there's no fear here. You guys are going straight ahead, fearless, and nothing's holding you back. Even if you get back with this past connection. Some of you have something new. Okay, Aries, leave it right there. Thank you so much. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you would like a personal reading with me, my information is listed below. Remember, this is a general reading only. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, and keep living in your happy space. Love and light.